Council is expected to pull the trigger on tougher gun laws. It's considering an ordinance to outlaw firearms with more than 10 rounds. The move is in response to a series of mass shootings across the nation. If that law passes, anyone who already has high capacity magazines would have to take them out of the city or turn them over to the LAPD to be destroyed. Republican presidential candidate Carly Fiorina spoke to a sold-out crowd at the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library. Last night, she covered everything from immigration to the Middle East. The former Hewlett-Packard CEO was quick to blame President Obama and Democratic presidential hopeful Hillary Clinton for their inability to lead. A Miami-Dade bond court judge has a real knack for recognizing defendants. Now, you may recall last month's emotional courtroom reunion between the judge and her former middle school classmate. The debate over gun control uh, comes to L.A. today. A rally is scheduled outside City Hall as the city council takes up a ban on high-capacity gun magazines. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom is live in downtown L.A. Good morning, Cara. What did you think I was putting you off of? You was untrue, rolling around in the car that I bought you. Baby, drop them keys. Hurry up before your taxi leaves. Upland City leaders have decided to cut funding for the city animal shelter. The Daily Good morning, I'm Rick Garcia. Good morning to all of you. I'm Sharon Tay. Welcome to CBS 2 News at 11 a.m. The L.A. City Council is taking on gun control this morning, and right now they're considering a ban on high-capacity magazines because of recent mass shootings. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom. Well, we may have a little summer rain headed our way. CBS 2 meteorologist Evelyn Taft joins us now with a look at your forecast of. Sharon, exactly. We now know that co what caused a Virgin Galactic spaceship to crash in the Mojave Desert last year. Today, first for legendary actress Diane Keaton, she signed on for her first regular role on a TV series. Now, of course, look me. it looks like a round ice cube. <laughs> it is time now to check out what's coming up on KKL 9 News at noon. Ms. Sandra Mitchell's here with a look ahead. Yeah. Hey, Sandra. Hey. Rick, Sharon, good morning. She looks amazing. Thank you for watching CBS 2 News at 11 a.m. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.